hello viewers you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you are a subscriber thank you for subscribing and if you have not subscribed yet you are just watching it for the first time please do subscribe comment like and share thank you today we want to be working on this afro hair how to make a realistic afro hair it seems very simple though and different artists have their own way of doing their own afro hair today i'm going to be teaching you the most easiest way on how to do your afro hair so just stay calm stay cool listen and you will get it right thank you so now what we'll have to do i have already done some sketching so I've done some sketching. Now we have to, you see the tip of the hair, you have to create a new layer. We want to, we want to draw the tip of the hair so that we'll know where our hair is going to um, stop. So you pick your legacy pen, make your color black, and then you turn. We've already created a new layer. So just, just catch where you want the hair to reach just catch how the hair is on her okay what we are doing now is to know where the tip of our own hair is going to get to okay on her so you see this front part just we have to create another layer you see this front part just use your pencil to brush it in Okay, brush it in to make it look more realistic. Can you see the way I'm brushing it in? Okay, the size of your brush should be 0 0.4. So just brush the hair in. So the reason why we are brushing it in is to give it another beautiful look. But though if you look at the hair very well, you will see that there was a kind of um a well brushed in um hair inside so now we are done with the demarcating and all that so you can see now so what we are going to do now we are going to pick our hair brush okay so we have to make use of this hair brush first hr texture so that is what we are going to use so just rub it on the hair okay you don't need to remove the head zoom it okay so you rub it on the hair you can see the way i'm doing it don't mind if it is touching the face okay don't mind it just continue your work we are going to erase it so this is how i do mine and it's always come out great i don't need to remove the head and replace it again i just I just do it my way and it works for me and it's always beautiful at the end of it so when we are done with this we are going to erase this the stained part so don't worry about the feeling you are going to feel every white part that is showing you are going to fill it in we'll be using like almost two hairbrush for for this okay so that was the reason why i demarcated to, was to know where my hair we reach or will get to rather so so now what i'm going to do i'm going to pick my eraser And then erase the stained part okay erase the stained part erase the stained part and this you can see where the ear is up to okay just swipe
Okay. You erase. We are still going to work on the front later. We are going to use our pen to still brush it in. Okay. So now what we are going to do, we are going to create another layer. And then we'll pick another um, hair texture. Okay. Make sure you are working on your new layer. You pick another hair texture. So we need, um, we need this, the tawny. We need the tawny. So I'm just going to spray it on it to make it look more thicker and more hair realistic. So just rub the tony on it. Can you see? So I'm just trying to keep the spots that I sketch. So just don't worry about the the stain, okay? Just continue sketching. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to erase, erase it again. So when we are done, done with this, what you are going to do now, let's see what we are doing okay so let's just fill this part to make it more real that was why we use our pencil to to sketch it to know <clears throat> where our hair is gonna reach so Let's fill it in. Okay. So now I will I will create another layer. Okay. I want to use this final um brush, brush it. Okay. That's what I want to use. We have to zoom it and then I just put it at the tip. So that is what I'm doing now. Okay, can you see guys? Just Okay, can you see now? So It is you alone that know how creative you you want to be. So, can you see this is how I I did my own creativity. Any stained parts just just wipe so after filling every white part that is showing okay there's another way that i do my brushing in like i want to make it look real good there's another way i do it i create a new layer and then i just open this place can you see it looks as if there is a kind of black hair and i pick my brush seven okay so i was I have to zoom it okay can you see what i'm doing now guys just brush look it make it look brushed in so just brush it in i'll brush it in you can zoom your brush to make it look white So that is how I do my brushing in. Let me close to know what I'm doing.
see guys it's now look more more kind of beautiful looks kind of beautiful now so just i will erase i will erase every stained part don't worry about the stained part so just pick up um pick your eraser zoom and then brush So guys, this is the result. This is the um, end result of it. So it is not the end. We still need to do some sprinkle and all that on it to make it look more like an afro hair. So all you need to do, I come here, I want this, this thing to look to look kind of real I'm still using my brush 7 I'm still using my brush 7 to brush in I'm not I'm not okay with the with the raising okay so what you would do now you pick create another layer pick your dotted 2 okay pick your dotted 2 dotted to this is it under the texture these textures they are made for hair okay this is our dotted to so after picking this your dotted to then pick a, a brown a brown um color okay a brown color you can see it on my screen a brown color a brown color so you can see it's more like a dark brown so what you do now just zoom your brush okay and now just forget about whether it's going to stain the um your picture or not so what you just have to do make sure you zoom it very wide okay increase the opacity zoom it okay now just sprinkle it on the hair okay Forget whether it's staining it or it's not staining it. So, when you are done with this, just just pick your eraser and just erase the the stained parts. Okay, so you can see it's in fact it's beautiful already. So just carefully, just. That is why creating another layer is better because as you are wiping wiping all those things, the ones that you've done before will not wipe along with it. So that is why it's always good to create a new layer for your work. Okay? So you can see, guys. You can see how beautiful this is. In fact, I'm loving it already. So this is how I do mine. I don't need to remove the head and then replace back. I do everything on the hair and make sure my own comes out well, okay? So this is my own original. And so what I have to do now, I reduce the opacity. Okay? Can you see, guys? Can you see how lovely this is? Okay? Or should we attach more to this um, bottom part? So if you want to attach more to the bottom part, you can just sprinkle it, let it show. It has, it has more beauty when it's showing. So just pick your eraser again and then you erase, okay? Then erase the stained part, okay? so guys this is how i do my realistic afro hair you can see how beautiful it is please subscribe to my youtube channel if you've not subscribed and if you like this video and it was helpful helpful for you please 
like and comment if there is any question i'll be waiting for you at the comment section more videos on hair detailing is coming so please click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified about it guys can you see how beautiful this is I don't I don't use charcoal for my afro. I use this dotted too. It is very very good. Especially when you zoom it. You see how beautiful this is. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share. In fact, please subscribe. Your subscribing to this channel is very important. It means you are making my my um um channel grow and more people will see my channel and thank you thank you for being a subscriber god bless you and bye